A redox titration is one that occurs between an oxidizing agent and a reducing agent. In the reaction between iodine and sodium thiosulfate, iodine is the oxidizing agent while sodium thiosulfate is the reducing agent. The thiosulfate ion reduces molecular iodine to iodide ion while itself is oxidized to tetrathionate ion according to the equation showing on the screen. Iodine, being insoluble in water, is dissolved in an HL solution of potassium iodide to form a triiodide ion, but it is only the molecular iodine that partakes in the redox reaction. The iodine solution is prepared by dissolving 25.4 grams of iodine in 6.0 grams of potassium iodide per dm3. The steps are as follows. 6 grams of potassium iodide is first weighed and dissolved in a small volume of water. Then the iodine crystals are crushed using mortar and pestle, after which 25.4 grams is weighed in a beaker and added to the concentrated solution of potassium iodide. The mixture is stirred and turned into a volumetric flask and the volume made up to 1 dm3. The iodine in the potassium iodide solution in the volumetric flask is then heated to increase the solubility of the iodine crystals. The sodium thiosulfate solution is prepared by dissolving 24.82 grams of the compound in 1 dm3 of water. Note that the concentration of the sodium thiosulfate as given in the instructions is far higher than that of the iodine solution. Hence, the need to heat the iodine solution to increase its solubility or concentration. In this experiment, the iodine solution is the titrant, while the sodium thiosulfate solution is the analyte. This means that the iodine solution is added to the burette, while the thiosulfate solution is measured with the pipette and added to the conical flask. Being an iodimetric titration, starch solution is added as an indicator to determine the endpoint of the titration. The starch indicator which is added to the thiosulfate solution before the titration starts, will react with the iodine molecule to form a starch iodide complex, which has a blue-black color. This will only occur at the end of the reaction, when all the thiosulfate ions in the analyte have been used up to reduce the iodine molecules to iodide ions, according to the equation. Iodide ions cannot form a complex with starch, therefore the solution will remain colorless until the next drop of iodine enters the conical flask. Since there would be no more thiosulfate ions in the solution to react with the iodine molecule, it combines with the starch to form the blue-black complex, which indicates the end point of the reaction. Having understood the chemistry of the reaction, you will have to watch the second part of this video to see a title value and the likely questions that can be asked and their corresponding solutions based on this experiment. So try out your experiment and let us know your title values in the comment section. Give us a like, subscribe to our channel and turn on your notification bell to stay updated when we upload the second part of this tutorial. A wise man once said, when you stop learning, you start dying. So keep learning till I see you when I'll see you.